Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's dig into this X-ray effect. Now, I'm not saying this is photorealistic, but this is a very quick and simple way of using nodes to create the look of X-rays. Um, so I'm in the shading tab. I've got Suzanne the monkey loaded up just because she offers a variety of interesting geometry, which realistically you would need if you're wanting an X-ray. I've got viewport shading enabled now, and I've got a material output node added I don't necessarily need the principled shader. I'm using cycles and I've got 512 samples selected. Now one thing I need to do first is disable all of the lighting in the scene and that's both disabling in the scene and in the final render. So basically I've just blacked out the entire thing. Uh, I think that's everything. Now we need to add an emission shader so search for Press Shift A and search for an emission shader. Plug that into the surface and that lights up Suzanne. We're going to add a mix shader as well. Plop that in there. Plug the emission into the bottom. We're then going to add a transparent shader and plug that into the second or first slot of the mix shader. Then we'll need a color ramp. Pop that just above. I'm going to use that to be the mask for the mix shader to differentiate between the two. We're also going to control that with a layer weight node using the facing value. And you can see already it's taking shape going to change the interpolation mode on the color ramp to B spline and move this black value as you can see I drag it across and it sort of allows us to see through I'm going to put it at 0.99 for now and that's given us a good start but something else I want to add is additional strength in the emission shader so increase that to three and then just for a bit more of realism because if we look closely at the shader it's super smooth and personally I don't know whether you've looked at any x-rays but there's a little bit of variation going on in there so we're going to plug a noise texture into the blend value of the layer weight I'm going to increase the scale to 75 detail to 10 and roughness to 1 and the distortion to 0.25 and that kind of gives it a much more grainy effect and it looks like perhaps this is made of some kind of organic material um, but believe it or not that is the entire shader now because it's an emission shader obviously you will want to move away anything that you don't want the light to be on so if I move away this plane then we can see that basically it does look like a sort of ghostly image of Suzanne and if I just rotate her a bit as well oh, no rotate her a bit as well you can see the different um, effects you get and you can basically see right through her head so as I say not photorealistic but good enough to pass so let's send that to render and see what we get. And there we go. Nice and quick. Only took 11 seconds to render that, believe it or not. So few nodes needed to create that effect that it's quite crazy. Anyway, if you have found that useful, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe for future content. And let your Blender friends know about me. And uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thank you.